We are at the Green Park here in Kanpur. We've been here many times as players before, but today it feels a little special because this is now the venue for the 500 test match for Indian cricket, which is quite an achievement. Ravi Shastri is here with me. Just four nations have managed to play 500 test matches. Now that's a large number and Indian cricket should be really proud of this fact. Absolutely, because it's a long journey. Started in 1932. So, you know, you know, they've played all these years. They've sustained the interest of the people. You know, test matches were hard to come by, you know, in the early years. But, you know, what's, what we're seeing today is fabulous. You know, and we're at a heritage ground. This was one of the oldest grounds uh, in Indian cricket. When uh, India had its first original venues, Kanpur was one of them. Yes. So, you know, it's, it's amazing how history just writes its own script. India played its first test match in 1932. The 100th test match, Mansur Ali Khan Pathodi was the captain, happened in 1967. 35 long years to play their first 100 test matches. Uh, and, and again, tribute there, you know, mm. to uh, the Board of Control for Cricket in India to sustain the interest, you know, to invite teams from overseas, invite the right teams. You know, it would cost money. You know, they would want retainers, they would want uh, bank guarantees in advance. But by calling those teams like the West Indies, the Australians, you know, when New Zealand, when they were strong, you sustained the interest of the public, mm. you know. And what you did was ensure that the Indian team got good competition and became stronger decade by decade. We're talking Test Match Cricket, mm. but you were part of that 1983 World Cup winning squad. Mm. The response, the reaction, there was a lot of adulation, fanfare, but not too many financial rewards. I mean, that is a big change when India wins now. There's also financial rewards with it. No, but that was the one single moment, you know, that redefined the way people looked at cricket in this country as a sport. You know, parents wanted young kids to play the game. You know, corporate houses came behind backing the sport like never before. You know, the sudden interest or the, just the way the cricketer was looked at by the arm janta, by the, uh, the, the corporate crowd, you know, by the blue collar was totally different. And uh, India started playing well, you know, they, they enjoyed that attention they got, you know, they, their performances showed. You won the world championship after that, you know, you again uh, staged the World Cup in India where we lost in the semi-finals, but you had a sequence of good performances, you know, which when television came into India, exploded. And that's why today, like I said uh, to you earlier, it's a small scale industry you mentioned. It's a billion dollar sport. Yeah. Uh, it's a fact. It's a billion dollar small scale industry. Mm. It's settled there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so much has changed over the years. You have been part of uh, this whole chain, this long journey as a player, mm. as a broadcaster, you've also had held responsible positions within the cricket team as well. If you look at Indian cricket, say maybe in the 70s, 80s and now 2016, what is the big change you see?